Hey, Shalom again. Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, the book of Revelations like I did the other day. Um, these are the seven seals of Revelation, of course. Uh, you find those in chapter 6 of Revelations. And I just wanted to touch base on you about them. Um, the first four, of course, is uh, characterized as the four horsemen, four horsemen of the apocalypse. You can find that in uh, Matthew 24, where uh, Yeshua talks about the prophecies of what's what's going to be ahead for us, and the four horsemen are part of that. So I just wanted to talk to you about that, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you look up these scriptures. Just get your Bible out and look these up whenever. Uh, I encourage you to. It's very important. So let's go at it now. Okay, the first seal. First seal is. Deception symbolized through the white horse. The white horse is false religion. You can find that in Revelations chapter 6, verse 2 through 3. Now this white white horse is going to have a, one crown on him. And this crown, you know, Yeshua has many crowns. Not just one, but many crowns. So we'll go to the second. Set the second seal when it's un, you know unleashed. It's a uh, war symbolized through the red horse. That's the red horse. Revelations six four. So of course war is coming. You know just like in the past with the Crusades, with the Inquisitions and everything. You know the Beast Man. All you know Babylon. This future Babylon. Whatever is going to. It's going to have a war on anybody, anybody and everybody that disagrees with them. And top of the list is the saints, the true servants of Yahweh. So we got to be, be prepared for that because it's, it's coming and it's coming real soon. Now the third seal open, sometimes what usually follows war is famine. That's symbolized through the black horse, verse 5 through 6. So, after war devastates people, hunger and famine is going to come, and that's not going to be a pleasant sight or anything to experience. So, famine is coming. Number four is pestilence, symbolized through the pale horse. And the pale horse is like a, the color, pigment or color of uh, pale is like a sickly. It's a sickly color, you know. No nutrition, lack of food, you know, water, whatever. And uh, pestilence follows because we've had that throughout human history, you know, just like famine and war. We've had pestilence. Like I said, uh, you find that in verses 7 through 8 in Revelations. Now we can go to the fifth seal, and that's martyrdom. Symbolized by those who cry out from under the altar. 9 through 11, the verses. And these are the, these are the saints who are, who are dispatched for not, uh, not going along with Babylon. They're going to be executed for the testimony of Yeshua and his father, our father, Yahweh. Number six, Yeshua's return preceded by a great earthquake and signs from the heavens, verse 12 through 17. So Yeshua returns, and it's not going to be a secret rapture. He wants everybody to know he's going to shake this planet. He's going to cry out like an archangel. He's going to cry out. He's going to let everybody know he's coming. And the unrighteous are going to be terrified of his return. Heck, they might even, might even think he's a... It's an alien invasion from Mars or something like that. And that's, that's why all the kings of the earth are going to unite to try to fight him, which is fruitless. Not going to win. But uh, he's, he's coming and there's going to be signs in the heavens. You know, what signs these are is everybody's guess, but we got to trust that they're going to happen. Now, number seven is silence in the heavens. Silence in the heavens for about a half an hour. And that's uh, chapter 8, verse 1. 
So there's going to be there's going to be a silence in the heavens. Now we don't know exactly what or why this silence is going to be, but it's going to be. So and uh after the silence it's going to be cleanup time. You know, uh they're unrighteous. It's going to be un it's going to be like I said, a time in history that uh we've never seen before and we probably ne and we'll never see again, you know, because evil's going to be put away. The beast, false prophet, Satan himself, death are going to be cast away forever, never to hurt us again, so we can live a peaceful life, righteous life, love Yahweh, Yeshua, and each other. This carnage is going to stop, and Yeshua is going to do it by force. He's not going to come here and expect people to love him and chant and say, you know, what would Jesus do, stuff like that. He's coming as a conquering warrior like, his, like one of his fathers, King David. He was a warrior, but he was also a devoted follower of Yahweh. So those seven seals, there's only one person that could actually open these seals, and that's Yeshua himself. No human, no angel, nobody can open them, but Yeshua, he has the authority to open them, and he's going to open them really, really soon. And... You know, we just pray that the kingdom come and thy will be done. You know, it's going to be really bad at first, but in the end, it's going to be peace, peace forever, and mankind's going to be restored to his position and what he was designed to be, a child of Yahweh. I thank you, and... Please subscribe, like my channel, hit the notification bells. I got to answer this phone. I don't know who's calling. But anyways, thank you again. Sloan, peace out.